we are going to be doing some relief printing. Remember, relief printing means that the parts that stick up are what print. We could print our fingerprints. We could print erasers. These are erasers that have been prepared to be printed. This is linoleum. This is a raccoon, a cat. Oh, actually, that's the raccoon, a deer, a dog. Those are just prints. And here's what the larger one would be with a linoleum. But we're not going to print linoleum today. No, we're going to print fish. Printing fish is a proud Japanese tradition that goes back um, at least a hundred years. Gyataku, and please pronounce it please excuse my pronunciation. And what it is, is kind of fisherman's bragging rights. And if you haven't watched the TED Talk video, I would like you to do that before you do this project. This is special printing ink. This one happens to be water-based. I'm gonna put a dab. This is what a dab looks like. And then I'm gonna take my brayer and I'm gonna spread it out. When I do that, I'm not going just back and forth because if I do that, it's not going to spread the ink evenly over the brayer. This brayer is not very soft, and brayers that aren't very soft, they don't spread the ink quite as well. I'm switching it for a brayer that's a little bit bigger, but a little bit softer. There are brayers that are even softer than this, made out of foam. I don't like those very well either. You don't want it too soft, too hard. You want it just right. and. You want it to make that crackle sound. It sounds kind of like Velcro. For something like this, it's just not that hard. You cover it. And you print it. Of course, the print is going to be reversed. Here we have a dog print. Doesn't show that well. We're going to do a little bit better with our fish. So here's my fish. We have um, a number of rubber fish that you can use, but I'm gonna use this one. Don't ask me what fish it is. Even though I'm from Minnesota, I can't answer that question. And we're gonna print it, not that different from how we would print linoleum. We're gonna ink it up. Now, this is not how this Japanese fisherman did it. They used rice paper and they used um, sumi ink, I believe same kind of ink that's used for um, some of the traditional Japanese painting. You know, I'm going to go ahead and move this over here so you can see the, because right now the fish is what's in action. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've put several dabs in the period of time since I started. I've done several dabs. What I want to do is I want to get a nice crackle coat of ink on my rubber fish. Maybe it's a latex fix fish. If I want it to show, it's gonna to have to have ink on it. And no, I'm not gonna take the ink and just squeeze the ink on the fish because that's not gonna give me good results. I'm not gonna get details that way. I wanna get details. To get details, you can't have too little. You can't have too much, it has to be just right. I'm gonna go a little bit on the side here. And I think I need one more dab. As a rule of thumb, it usually takes at least four dabs to do any printing of this size, whether it's a fish or a cardboard collagraph or linoleum. I'm gonna do one more. My little dog print didn't turn out very well because I didn't have enough ink. This is, by the way, the slab, and that's where I'm rolling my brayer. And I look here and it has that crackle coat, which means that the ink is standing up. I look here and you can see it's the crackle coat there. And that's what's gonna give you a nice lively print. Okay, when I have enough, then I'm going to take my tissue paper. Now, of course, those Japanese fishermen, they would have been using rice paper, but tissue paper is similar to rice paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest the tissue paper on top and use my fingers to gently coax design. Don't 
take it off till you feel like you have as much as you can. Tissue paper is very thin, so a little of the ink is going to go through. You'll see it on your fingertips a little bit. And let's see how we did. I don't like the face so much. Let's see if I can get that to show a little bit more. I'm not happy with that face. I'm going to go in. This wouldn't work if I were doing a part where I moved the whole thing. But there, that's going to show that just enough better that that's going to be a better print. It was worth the risk. So here is the print of my fish, and here's the actual fish. And you will notice that the print is reversed. Relief type printing always reverses the image. Now what we could do is around here, we could do tissue paper collage or not. Um, well, happy printing. <laughs>